So here's a question. Does avant-garde still exist? Probably, but here's why I ask. I learned about this strange concept in my creative arts 1010 class or something like that. And we spend days talking about it. Honestly, avant-garde still rather puzzles me. A quick Google search will tell you that avant-garde is, and I quote, new and unusual or experimental ideas. It's French for advanced guard, apparently. So I guess it's like what's new and coming up, you know, the what's on the fringes, the borders, the advanced part of art. And if boundaries are like rules, well, I think there are some rules that shouldn't be broken. Like when you want to write a book, you use a language that other people can understand. Unless you don't want other people to understand. Now, I'm not completely discrediting avant-garde. I'll hand it to creativity and weirdness, but it's, it's a unique form of expression. It is, it really is. In fact, just like traditional artwork, avant-garde can have a lot of meaning behind it. So they tell me. I did a bit of research on the matter. In the 1917 New York exhibition, a man named Marcel Duchamp, or something like that, I don't know where he was from, he put a urinal on a pedestal and called it a sculpture, a piece of art. But the urinal was like sideways. So, I don't know, he thought he was being creative. And actually, he made quite a statement by doing so. Up until that point, no one had really thought about, you know, if there are rules to art. After that, wouldn't you wonder, like, is that really art? Hang on a minute here. So he really begged the question, what is art? And that's not what I'm going to argue here, because... No. But my question is, does avant-garde art still exist? In a world of post-modern art, is there anywhere else for us to go? I mean, can there possibly be something beyond Lady Gaga? <laughs> oh boy, we're doomed. I mean, in the time of pa Pablo Pica Pablo Pica Pablo Picasso, he was something quite funky. And then came along Duchamp with his funky ready-mades, as he called them. And then you get weird things like John Cage's 4 minutes 33 seconds of silence, or Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Gatto. Some strange stuff, if you've never heard of them. I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> what does the fox say? <laughs> no, that one's just quality art. I'm just kidding. Anyway, anyway. I think we sort of expect the unexpected nowadays. Unusual is the new normal. What do you think? Have we reached an edge of avant-garde? Or can we still be shocked? Is there possibly something stranger that can be invented by the human mind? Probably. As, as, strange, as, as strange as art has become sometimes, I, I wonder, but we will probably, yes, still get some strange stuff. This is Ford Rasmussen, signing off.